Hi, it's Mary. Welcome to the Paper Turtle. I have a haul video. Woohoo! Um, I know it's it's been a little while, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just jump right in because I think I've got quite a bit, so it might take a little bit of time. Um, I don't even know what I have here, but let's see. Let's just start with what I have on my desk. This is just some little fringe trim. It's cute. I figured I didn't really have any like this in this color, so why not? There it is. Got it now. I picked up... These things came from the same place where I picked up the... Um, Holly Hobby note cards that were in the last haul. I'm pretty sure they were in the last haul video. So this is another one. Little note cards, little elves on it. Um, these are from American Greetings. And I'm pretty sure they're like from the 70s or 80s. All right, here's a date. 1950, 60, 78. Cute. And also these, which they're taking lessons from the other thrift store with their staples and everything. They're actually um, run by the same um, company. So I think that their managers, store managers, go back and forth. So they might have a, you know, a standard packaging something like a half a staple oh, gosh. I have to get that out before it lands in the carpet and ends up in my foot all right Victorian note cards well they're cute I like that one. Oh, that one's cute. The kitty. They're um they're dated 1994. They're shiny, but that's all right. I'll still use them. I'll stick these like in a tuck spot or something. Or I'll use one to send someone a note with Happy Mail or something. There's plenty of uses for them. You can, and you can grunge them up with ink. We know you can do that. Um, all right. Move these out of the way. Of course. Of course. I had to get these cards. I just thought they were cute. And I did pay a dollar but I think there's two decks worth in here and I think that they are all the same um card I just thought that was cute I don't know they're good and vintage looking almost Victorian they would pass I think if I were doing Victorian themed I picked this up Look at this, 75 cents. At first I was like, are they embossing or are they dyes? But I am pretty sure they're dyes. They look like dyes, they feel like dyes. So 75 cents for one, two, three, four, five dyes. And this one, well, let me look at it. Oh my gosh, staples and heavy duty tape. One or the other people, I guess the, um, either one could easily be opened up, but still. I like the label one. 
because I don't have um, I don't have a label die or stamp so now I do and then there's one two that one's that one's nice because it's simple I like I like simple so there's four frames and these can be used not just as a frame but to cut a pocket that would be a really pretty shaped pocket of course it would have the middle in it but so then you put the frame on top of another piece of paper to frame out the pocket really nice I'm gonna be using these upcoming soon I have a um, well no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about my great idea that I had because that might that video might go up before this one <laughs> so you probably already hear about it so I won't talk about it right now um, this quilted piece of fabric I saw it and immediately thought journal cover and I'm pretty sure it's big enough Tape and yarn and staples. Okay. Is there another staple in there? I saw a staple remover at one of the thrift stores, but <laughs> I wasn't getting anything else there that day, so I didn't grab it. I thought there was a staple there. So I didn't grab it. I should have. But that's all right. There's, they're like all over the place. I can find one easily. Okay, so here's the one side. Yeah, that's big enough for several um, journal covers. That's the one side, and then the other side is this. Isn't that gorgeous? So that'll be fun. I just have to figure out how to edge it, how to finish the edges off. Um, I'm not a quilter or much of a sewer, so that's going to be, if you have any suggestions for me for how to do that, let me know. I'm thinking just taking some seam binding and wrapping it around the edges and then sewing along it, right? Is that what you would do? I think that's, I think that's all that needs to be done. I don't know. You tell me. Okay. I bought these. There's two of them. A green one and a blue one. They don't really go in my room, <laughs> but nothing does anymore, so I didn't care. But these are nice little boxes, and inside, if you can see, is dividers. So I thought this might be a good place for me to put Maybe some of my, one of them for my finished, um, sorry, sorry for banging you, finished ephemera and maybe one for die cuts. I don't know. You should see my room. It's just so, I mean, I can't say it's unorganized because I know where things are, but it's not a pretty organized. It's very, um, to me, it, it looks cluttered. And I would like to get it a little less cluttered looking. So I keep buying all these organizational things and don't know what to do with them. Um, I'm working on it a little bit at a time. Okay. I bought this um, GIMP because I went to find some GIMP for a couple of things that I'm working on. And... I realized I only had a couple colors, so when I saw this for a dollar, I grabbed it because I don't have this color. And again, I have I have lots of pink stuff, pink everything else, but um, this I I like the gimp because I use it to um, edge. Like if I'm wrapping fabric around 
the binding, then I edge it with GIMP because it's nice and flat and it's wide enough that you can cover the rough edges. That's what I like to use it for. So the timing of finding this was, was pretty good. I picked up a few old postcards. Um, they had some that were newer and some that, that weren't so new, but they were a quarter each. So I just grabbed what I got five of them and they're Florida postcards. I thought that they were kind of fun. Maybe I could stick them in some happy mail. Um, they're older. Uh, there's no, there's no dates that I can see. Funny, it says it was made in Boston. <laughs> and this is, this is my town. I couldn't tell you where that is though. I have no idea where this, this is. I don't, I'm thinking maybe it's not really, <laughs> like it really wasn't taken in this town, <laughs> but they just put the name on top. That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that is. And our manatees that we love so much. We love our manatees. It's funny. I don't, I don't know where this was taken. <laughs> Maybe it's somebody's ranch. I don't know. I didn't know. Um, oh, I grabbed this. Is that not awesome? That is like the most awesome thing. This can be, I'm going to take it out of the frame and it's going to go on the cover of a journal. Would that make a fantastic, like botanical garden journal? I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, I think there's something back there. Maybe it's just a piece of cardboard. I think it's just the picture on the cardboard. But that's so cool. <laughs> I just, I get a kick out of it. I think it's just very cool. Okay, what else have we got here? Um... This was an estate sale where things were half, uh, that's, those aren't the estate sale. These were the estate sale and things were half price and um, they didn't have a whole lot. We went like the third day, so everything was gone. And I got this little tote thing that's going to be for my grandkids um, craft supplies, but it's really dirty. I have to wash that. And these are just some beads. Looks like they were originally bought at Big Lots for a dollar. I actually paid a quarter for them. And I think some of this stuff ended up being free because he rounded everything up, everything that we bought. So we rounded it down to, we got maybe like a dollar off from my calculation. Um, but that's okay because that estate sale was the same people that overcharged me. <laughs> I never said anything else to them. I never got my money back. So little by little, I'll get it back by them giving me good deals. <laughs> okay, so these are beads. They're pretty. And then another package of beads. It says they're porcelain. And I just, I got this, um... It's a little bit thick for binding a journal. I think for me, it's a little bit thick, but it's purple and I don't have much purple. And this is really cute, like um, to tie on the top of tags or, you know, whatever, whatever you use this stuff for. And again, this was half off, so it was just a quarter for that. And this little package of... It's like tissue paper. It is tissue. <laughs> so there's, okay. This orangey flower stuff. That's cute. Solid orange. That. That's it. 
but that was also a quarter, so that's all right for a quarter. See, you don't have to buy in big quantities and spend lots of money. This stuff adds up. All right, this cost me a quarter, and there's all these sheets of tissue paper in there that I probably will use, take me like years just to use this. So you can build up a supply very quickly and easily by just spending, you know, 50 cents a quarter here and there. This is just a bag of miscellaneous trims. Um, where did I get this? I think this might have come in Happy Mail. I know these came in Happy Mail. I, I did a swap with somebody on one of the Facebook groups, and she sent me these glue dots, which I use a lot, and clear photo corners, which I don't use so much, but you know, they're always useful for something. <clears throat> I have lots of photo corners. And I think if I remember right, and I'm so sorry if you're a viewer and <laughs> and I'm not remembering right, but I think that this also came in the Happy Mail in the swap. She sent me a big box full of stuff and um, some of it ended up in my haul bag. So I think that might be where this came from, as opposed to me buying it, because there's no price on it. So we have different um, pieces of trims here, and there's all different stuff. Um, there's this. I have to wind all this onto my cards. That's how I store it. I put it on cards. I'll have to show you my storage someday. Yeah, maybe. I actually started a, um, a room organization video. I did the before pictures or before clips. And that was, oh, a year and a half ago. <laughs> and I haven't gotten to the after yet because I haven't gotten to the after yet. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, that's cute. And let's see, some orange trim. I like the shape of that. I don't do, I don't use much orange, but we'll see. This is pretty. You know, I like the trims with the scallop edges. It's a bright pink, but it's pretty. I like that one. A little piece of that. Um, some ribbon. Some mauve. Remember when mauve was a big color? What was that in the 80s, I think? Mauve was big. I actually painted one of my living rooms mauve, but it didn't turn out very mauve. It was like bright pink. <laughs> it was awful. And some more ribbon. And this is pretty. That's very pretty. Can you see that? I like that. And some very Halloween-y looking, what we used to call in the uh, scrapbook world, fiber. But now it's just fancy yarn, I guess. And this, that's pretty, so soft, it's like chenille. I like this kind of stuff for the tops of tags. And some fringe. That's kind of like... The blue fringe I just bought. So that's a um, nice variety of stuff. Thank you to the person who sent me that. All right, more haul stuff here. I don't even know where to start. My bag is like overflowing. I guess I've already started, haven't I? All right, I bought the World Almanac and Book of Facts 1986. I bought this because the paper in it is so wonderfully aged. It's that nice brownish color, like it looks coffee dyed without the staining. And this is all like charts. Um, the printing is nice and small so that you could put it as a background on collaging. I just, I don't know, I just really, 
I, I liked the, the feel of the paper in this book, and that's why I bought it. There's not a lot of maps. There's a few. And I do use maps in my journals as background sometimes because it brings a lot of color in. And the flags, which I guess I could cut the individual flags out and use them as little embellishments, right? I could do that. Just nice paper. And charts if I want to have like a, I don't know. I don't know. There's just lots of options in here. Sometimes I buy things and then say, why did I buy that? <laughs> okay, I bought this. Bought it for a couple of reasons. One, I'm a Scrabble fan. I've been playing Scrabble since I was a little kid. And um, I have a, a nice Scrabble game with the rotating board and stuff. So I didn't buy this to play the game. But I bought it, number one, for the box. This box is awesome. And I am going to figure out a way to use this in my room because I, I like Scrabble and because it's a box. It's a nice wooden box. Um, and then inside it is, of course, the letters. And it says it's missing a couple, but that's okay. I'm not going to use this game to play. I'm going to use the letters on my journals. It has this nice little bag which needs to be cleaned off because there appears to be animal hair or something on it. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I would use these for. Um, you know what you could, I know what I could use these for. Um, I could use these to display cards, like cards that somebody sends me. Maybe if they'll stand up in there you just stand them up. Nope. It's not high enough. It's not going to work like that. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know. Any suggestions? What would you use these things for? And then this will all come out, and I've got this nice box here that's dirty. This is all needs to be really clean. So this is going in my cleaning pile. And then the board, the board game, is folded like this so I have either a folio a nice folio right or um, just a journal cover here some or I can cut this off and this would be a good writing board to stick into a soft journal there's lots of possibilities with just the board itself so this is this was um, something I can get multiple uses out of. And that's why I bought it. But the box is, the box is awesome. I love it. Okay. Then, into the bags. Bags, bags, bags. Early on in my um, my uh, filming days, I had the idea that I should. This is not thrifting. This is something else. I had the idea that I should take everything out of the bags before I start my video, and I tried that once or twice. You know, to avoid that whole rustling thing, and I tried it once or twice, but it didn't work for me. Because it took me all that time to take this stuff out of the bags. And I had no place to pile it up. Because I have my workspace here, which is my filming space. And I have a table over here to my left. But it's full of stuff. That's what I'm working on. So I pile it up there a little bit. But if I have a lot of stuff, it's not. it just tumbles down. Um, I have the floor next to me. But anyway, I tried it. It didn't work for me. It was too much multiple handling of things. So now I leave it in the bags. I just throw it in there and I take it out as I go along and 
I don't think you mind it too much, do you? I hope not. <laughs> okay. So I found this. This is a lot of, when you see these price tags on my stuff, these all came from one thrift store. And this is the one that does this stuff so nicely, uses all the tape and the staples and everything. And this is also the one that does the buttons where she writes the price on the front of the button card, which just irks me. Um, they haven't had any good buttons lately, but they always have lots of laces and trims and she measures it all out and she prices it all out and it's just awesome. I love to go to that thrift store and all the craft stuff is in a, like a little room, a separate room from everything. It's, it's really, I, it, it's my favorite place to go for actual craft stuff. I think that they get, it's, um, the thrift store is run by hospice. Well, I don't know if it's run by hospice, but it's for hospice. And so I think they get a lot of volunteers. Isn't that cute? It says by Sonia on it, but I don't mind that. That can be on there. I don't know what it means. I'm guessing it's the person that made it. But isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness. And if that is hand sewn, now that's machine done. It's too it's too perfect and, and all even and everything. That's hand done. I mean machine done. But that's so cool. She probably has one of those fancy machines where you put in your design and um, it just does it once you've designed it. That's cool, though. And this one, I thought this one was a different color. Um, I don't have a lot of yellow and yellow and brown is, um, I don't know. I, it, it's... It can be worked in. I don't know if I would do a whole journal in yellow and brown. Maybe if I had the right stuff. But it can be worked in. And I like these wide laces. Because these can be used as a pocket along the bottom of your page. Hopefully you'll see me using some of this stuff soon. If you haven't already. Oh my goodness. And yes, this part I should do before I start the video. But hey, you know what? This gives us a chance to chat for a second while I'm um, struggling to open these things. That's That's a good thing, right? You're saying, no, just get on with the stinking haul. I don't care what you have to say. I want to see what you bought. <laughs> I get it. I know. This is like a cotton-like material. <laughs> Very pretty. It looks aged or dyed or, or something. But it's, it's kind of delicate. I like it. It's got the scalloped edge, so I could use it on the edge of a page. And this one I just thought was so pretty. It's not um, dyed or vintage looking, but it's so pretty. And there's a couple of ways that I can use this. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I could use, I could cut a strip of it and use it for trim. I could cut out individual flowers and use them as um, embellishments. I could put a whole, like all four rows across the bottom of a page and use it as a pocket. There's a lot of ways to use this. Now it's just a small piece, but if I use it, you know, if I cut it up and use pieces of it, this could go a long way. So that that's really pretty. This one is very 
70s vintage looking to me. Still haven't started my 70s journal yet, but I will. I've got ideas going around in my head. And I have a, I'm starting to put um, bits and pieces aside for it. I've been really busy lately doing some um, swaps in a couple of the Facebook groups. and That's fun, but it does keep me busy. Look at that. That's pretty. It's like cute pretty. I like it. I'm accumulating a lot of these, but what I'm doing is I'm trying to buy small pieces so that um, I can actually use it up. I have some stuff in the other room that I've bought that are like huge, huge pieces, lots and lots of yardage of stuff that I'll never use it. But if I get these smaller pieces, I'll use them up and then I have room for more. Does that, that make sense, right? This, you know, if I use like a strip of this, say on a belly band or the edge of a page or something, that's half of it already used up. And how many times do you really want to use the same trim? You want a variety, right? Because you get tired of using the same things over and over. So the small pieces are good. I do think they're charging a little bit. When I went the other day, I felt like some of their prices on, on their cut trim was a little bit high. I was disappointed because it's like, come on, you're you're charging a dollar fifty for I think it was like twelve inches of, of trim. It was like beaded fringe trim. It doesn't matter like what it is, it's only twelve inches. That's no, a dollar fifty. I mean, call me cheap, but for that's we're talking thrift store this is just not you know hobby lobby all right oh it wasn't in my last haul <laughs> it was it's this haul that i got the holly hobby stuff look at that Okay, look at that. I saw that. I grabbed it. I didn't even think about it. I said, I want that. This is going to be the cover of a like country themed journal. And guess what else is going to be in that journal? Yep. Holly Hobby note cards. I also have um, Holly Hobby um, stationery that I had bought a while back. Now this almost feels like it says eight notes eight envelopes there's more than eight there and this is 15 for a dollar 50. let me see what's really in here again all taped up don't steal the thrift store note cards <laughs> Oh, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, there's fifteen of them in here. So there's almost two packages for the price of a dollar fifty. So that's cool. That's very cool. We all loved Holly Hobby, right? Actually, Holly Hobby was a little bit at the end of my interest period for things like this. Um, but I do remember her and I think that it was more my little sister's era. Like late 70s. This is cool, though. This is so cool. 
And from that same thrift store. Oh, these have been there forever. I finally decided to pick one up. I have two granddaughters whose names start with A. So I'll use that in something. I don't know what. Uh, more cards. Yes, I just thought it was cool. It's the earth. And these are, oh, these are book plates. Which I love. Not just even for the front of the book. You can, I could cut off from the library of and use that as a journal card. Whatever. There's, you know, more than one use for these book plates. Or I'll use them in my actual books. I don't know. And I picked this one up. It was 15 cents because um, of the one, this one at the top with the, with the uh, scalloped edge. This one. I like that. You know, and surprisingly, these, some of these, the colors are a little bit unusual. And you never know when you're going to need, like, a different color that just goes perfectly with what you're working on. That's my reason for getting six million colors of that stuff. This was a grab bag for a dollar. And we shall see. At least whatever this tape is that they used is really easy to come off. What have we got in here? Little crocheted flower. It's like the petals are like hearts. How cute is that? Let me see if I can flatten it out for you. That's cute. A little, little crunchy there, but... I think it would work in a, I don't know, very vintage looking. Um, we have one little applique like this. Those are always fun. We have a little crocheted thingy. Ooh, this is heavy. Just a sparkly little flower patch thing. I'm not sure about that. Boho. Boho journal, right? I haven't made one yet. Um, what is this? This is a... Some type of a... Um, it's a flower pot made out of corrugated paper and pipe cleaners and a little wire. I can do something with that, right? We'll be creative with that. There's a sparkly, wow, that's really glitzy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I will do with that. That's interesting. Hmm. And one more for the boho journal. I don't know what it is. Reminds me of an ice cream cone, but that's where my mind goes. <laughs> Straight to the ice cream parlor. And all the little beads coming off. And nope, I'm not going to try to save them. Because I have plenty. Okay, that, that was a little disappointing, but okay. This, I, I don't know if you remember, a while back, maybe a haul video back one or two I had bought a crate full of scrapbooking stuff and it was full of these kind of things labeled and sorted and there were like a ton of them so I think this is left over from that donation to this thrift store and they just sold it individually so I figured I would get it because um, I know that that the rest of that stuff was good stuff. So this is, well, that's cute. Gardens I love. That's chipboard. A lot of this is chipboard, which uh, chipboard in a junk journal is a little bit bulky to me. 
So I'm not sure if I will use the chipboard. That's interesting. These, like the gem parts of these rings punch out. Why? What would you do with that? I don't know. Interesting. Again, more chipboard. They're cool. They're, they're you know, they look kind of cool, but the fact that they're thick, I don't know. Would you use those? The chipboard pieces? I have a whole bin full of chipboard. You know, decorative chipboard left over from my scrapbooking that I don't even know if I would use it in scrapbooks now because it's so bulky. It was a thing for a while, but I don't know. These are these are cute, but like this punches out. Well, so why would you punch it out? I don't know. Uh, some of this, maybe this was a mistake because this is all chipboard. This is paper. <laughs> Can you see that? It says best years of my life and it has age ranges. And I guess you punch out the little circle for the one that applies. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about some of those. Hmm. That might have been a bust, but yeah, I got a plastic thingy out of it. <laughs> we'll see. Some of that might be passed along. Um, I picked up this magazine because it was free. Um, they had a box next to the register with some magazines, and I said, how much for the magazines? And she said, oh, they're free. Most of them were National Geographics and good housekeeping and that kind of stuff. But there was this one. Um... So I figured there's stuff in here that I can cut out for my, um, look at that, for my uh, glue book. So that's, that's why I grabbed it and it was free. I haven't really ever looked at one of these Magnolia magazines. But it looks like it's got some fun pictures in it. So there we are. Okay, what have we got in here? I don't know. Oh, I got a... Um, I like to get these when I can get them. They, they don't happen very often, but when they do, I, I grab them. This was um, from Goodwill. My Goodwill has mostly new stuff. It doesn't have a lot of secondhand stuff from donations. The clothes, I think, are, but... All the other stuff is mostly new stuff and they have a few aisles of things like the glassware and things very little craft stuff but every once in a while they put together these bags which I don't know why they use these really thin cheap bags they're always broken open so they put together these bags and put a price tag on them and a lot of times the things in the bags don't go together <laughs> it's it's like they're I don't know they just throw stuff in there. So I always look at them and I look to see if I see anything at all that looks like it would be worth what I would pay for it. And this one looked like there might be some stuff in here. So let's see what's in here. Yesterday or a couple days ago, I went to the Goodwill and they had a, a bag. Um, and it had, I'm trying to think of what else it had in it, but it had in it a roll of the Tim Holtz tissue paper and it had a few things that I would not use and then there was something else I forget what the other thing was but they wanted five dollars for it and I was like eh, no I'm not I'm not gonna pay five dollars for it because some of the stuff in there I wouldn't use so I kind of put it on the bottom shelf towards the back <laughs> and if whatever color that was, I think it was orange. When the 50% off orange day comes along, if it's still there and I happen to go 
when the orange is 50% off, I'll get it. Otherwise, I passed on it. But this one was $3. And let's see what we have. These are, look like they are note cards. It says Wilton House Gift Shop on it. Yeah, they're little um, note cards. That's kind of pretty. I'll put that in a journal. So there's two of those. Well, never mind then. That one. Embossing template. I haven't embossed like that in a long time. I still have my old templates. I'll just throw that in the drawer with them. Oh, here's another one. It says, thank you and happy birthday. Yeah, I probably won't use these just because I don't do that embossing anymore, but who knows? This is a line of card reusable static cling vinyl sticker. Perfect for centering, aligning, and spacing. What is it? It's a cool envelope. Place a line of card onto light source. The line of card is the same size as our fold over notes and envelopes, making centering, spacing, and aligning easier. Well, the ink from this got onto this, so that won't be helpful, but I don't know, I understand what it's for, but I think it's probably old and the, this is supposed to peel off so you can see through it there. Oh, it's supposed to be like staticky, I guess. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. I don't know if that's something I would use. I'll have to think about it. See if there's if I have a use for that. And we have some cards and envelopes. Looks like it's brand new in the package. These are recollections. Oh, so they're from Michaels. That's all right stamps oh they're cute stamps but there's a couple in there that I might use these flowers there's a cute heart they're kitty stamps that one's pretty too but there's a few there I would use so that's good magic memories what is this rub-ons well, these are pretty. Those would be good on the, a page to um, decorate a plain page in your journal. I like those. I'll use those. Oh, some more note cards. One note card. This is also a blank card. A silk damask burst worked with passion flower motifs worked in silk floss and couched Japanese gold thread. Okay. It just feels like paper to me. Maybe it's like a picture of one. Yeah, I think it's just a picture of an actual tapestry or something. It's pretty. I'll do something with that. Oh, another another uh, embossing thing. And here's another one of those. And some purple stationery and envelopes. And some yellow. Can always any kind of paper I can use. Um, this is oh, an embossing tool and a frame. I 
I guess I could try to use this to emboss a uh, label. I don't know. Probably more bother than it's worth at this point. But these tools are good. And calligraphy writing paper, which I love the feel of this. This is what made it worth the $3, really. Um, it looks aged, but it's really not. That's just the color of the paper. So, I okay, $3, this wasn't bad because I have a tool, a bunch of paper, a few note cards and stuff that I can use, some rub-ons, some stamps, cards and envelopes, and some embossing things. So that's not bad for $3. I think that one was a good deal. And I do like to pick those up and look through them and see what surprises I got in them. Oh, we've got much more here. <laughs> I hope you're you're sitting down and relaxed and comfortable and you got your coffee or your wine or whatever and uh this i thought was pretty 70s i like it i like these these kind of embroidered trims they're great to put across a belly band a border all kinds of things i really like those and then here's a pink let me see if I can get this one open because you really have to see this one. This is pretty. And there's a hair in it. Ew. Ugh. It's the only thing with thrift shops. You don't know what you're getting. <laughs> I'm trying not to cut the... Oh, I feel like I'm cutting the trim. They really did this one up good. Hair and all. Yeah, it's stuck to the tape. Ew. Ew. It's a big, long one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hair creeps me out. I know it probably just came out of somebody's head, and it's probably perfectly clean, and it's just hair, but it creeps me out. Especially when it's in food. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. I, mean, I don't want to think about it. Um. So, <laughs> there's this really pretty dainty pink trim i like it that's pretty and then this one i thought was pretty too well anything that i buy i think is pretty otherwise i wouldn't buy it <clears throat> this has it's very thready isn't that pretty I just think that's gorgeous again it's not a big piece of it but that's all I need because okay I might get maybe three uses out of this and then I'd be sick of using it so it's perfect I like it okay what else have I got in here Okay, more organizational stuff. It was 50 cents, so it was nice and clean. Kind of, sort of goes with my room. It goes with some stuff in my room. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I have it. Um, in here. These are note cards. They're new in the package, whatever they are. I think they're note cards. I know, I buy stuff. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> they look nice. That's pretty. It's thin paper. I like the um, edging on it. That's really pretty. I like that. And then, so there's that one. 
And they have envelopes with them. And there's nothing on the envelopes. There's this cardinal one, and they have that edge on it again. Then this one's really pretty. A little chickadee, I guess. And this one. So those are pretty. I like those. This was... Um, I'll get to that. Wait, let me show you this one. This was 50 cents. thought that was pretty. These are always good for <clears throat> the cover or just to put on a page. I like them. This was half off. I probably wouldn't have bought this for $5, although it's well worth $5. I just don't need, um, I don't need more stamps. My stamp box is full. And I don't need more, but it was two fifty, so it's got some fun stamps in it, though. It's a little corner stamp. There's a leaf, a daisy, a butterfly, another leaf. Some of these I may not keep. This is one that I saw that I liked. I think that's really pretty. I hope that'll stamp nice. And this one. I like that one too. And these. I think these all maybe were a set. A, a set. I don't know where they came from. Rubber, Rubber Stampede. I'm not familiar with that company. No, they're all different. This is... All Night Media, Posh Impressions, it's Rubber Stampede, and Rubber Stampede. So those were probably maybe a set. And then there's this one. And these aren't, they don't even look like they were used. If they were used, they were well taken care of. And the, so I have these couple of corner stamps. This is another leaf stamp. That looks like it. That's going to stamp in a block. Oh, it's going to stamp just like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to like that. And another corner stamp. So for $2.50, that was, that was a pretty good deal. Especially, I would have paid $2.50 for just these. That's really what I wanted them for. I need to go through my stamps and weed some out and kind of get rid of some because I have a, a lot that I don't I don't use and I really don't think I'm going to use and they are taking up a lot of space I don't I don't do a lot of stamping this was again from the same thrift store that I bought the big lot of um, you can see she had tabs on these things. She had a bunch of these with, they were all labeled. Um, that doesn't, it doesn't go with what's in there, but, um, yeah, I bought a whole box full of them. And now when I see these stragglers in the thrift store, I think, wait, that was supposed to be in the whole box that I bought. But this one I picked up because you can see the little things in there. This looks like, um, like Tim Holtz type of embellishments um, so these are great for sticking in your little tuck spots in your journals yeah I do think that these <laughs> deep dish pizza I do think that these are Tim Holtz stuff most of them a little picture so that's that's good and that to me that's worth a dollar because these things are expensive in the stores and another thing um okay what's this 
Oh, paper. Okay. A lot of times I go to the thrift stores and there's some discount day or craft supplies or whatever might be half off or whatever. So that always helps. These are, it says trifold brochures. Well, look at the printing on them. They're meant for you to fold like this and print a brochure on it. But that's not what I'm going to use them for. Look at that paper. That's so cool. You know, it's not textured. It's just flat. It's printed on there. And look at the back. is is not, it doesn't have the, um, like this is three sections for the trifold, but the back is one full thing. So I thought that was pretty good. I don't usually pay $2 for just a pack of paper, but this was different paper, so I liked it. And then this one is purple. So that's, um, that's different. Paper. Cannot go wrong with paper. Alright, this is the last bag, I think. Yes. Last bag. Oh, okay, this was... Let me show you this. This was a really good deal. If you are a scrapbooker, you, you'll know. Hold on. Okay. These are American Crafts 12 by 12 page protectors. These were 80 cents a package. I bought one, two, three, four, five packs because you know what these cost at Hobby Lobby or Michael's now that nowadays like eight or nine bucks at least for pack of page protectors can't even afford them anymore 80 cents a pack and they had more I, I would have bought them all but I don't I don't do as much scrapbooking anymore and I do have quite a supply but I could not pass these up at 80 cents a pack. I just couldn't pass them up. So I have those. That was like a really, really good deal. So then I didn't mind paying the $2 a pack for these because they're so cute. And I got such a good deal on the other stuff. Um, look at these. Isn't that adorable? I think that's so cute. I hope they're all like that. Wait. Oh, no. I just got ripped off. These are all envelopes. No way. There was just one card in there. One card in all these envelopes? You gotta be kidding me. I thought this was all... Of these cards I only got one <laughs> that's the chance you take when you are shopping at the thrift store <laughs> I guess I should have opened the box and looked at them Wow okay how about this one is there more than one no what is up with these seriously really One card and envelopes. Oh, man. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, my goodness. One card and all these envelopes.
Wow. I feel cheated. I feel so very, very cheated. <laughs> so I just paid two dollars for a bunch of envelopes. Well, that's what happens sometimes. This is like oh, it's that rubbery, stretchy stuff. Um that's it. That's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, hit that bell button so you know when I upload new videos. And check back often. Wait, don't go. Did you already go? All right, if you're still here, you get a bonus. <laughs> Not a bonus. I bought these at Ollie's. Do you have an Ollie's near you? Um, Ollie's is like a big lot's. It's like a discount. They buy in bulk. And whatever they happen to have, that's what they have. Well, what they had was the glue sticks that I use. And these were, I think, $1.99. Um, and they're like $4.99, I think, at Walmart. So I picked up a couple of those. I didn't stock up because... If you wait too long to use these, they dry up. So I only got two. And they also had this. I have not seen this before, so I decided to get it and try it. It's um, it's an adhesive runner. And it's made by Aileen's. It was a little bit expensive at $3, but I wanted to try it just to see how it is. It seems to have a fairly good supply in there. Um... So I'll see it, see how it is. If it's good, if it works really well, then, you know, I don't mind paying the $3 for it. So if you have an Ollie's near you, check. Um, well, always check Ollie's Big Lots, those stores like that, because sometimes they do have the um, name brand craft supplies. And with that, that's it. I'll say goodbye and we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.